Hi guys, Dean on Underman here from MyGreatPhone.com and we've got an unboxing and specification view for you of the new HTC One X. So let's unbox the product and see what we get with it. Now this is the box that you do get. This is one is from Vodafone. They've been kind enough to send this over. Now the One S that you can pick up from Vodafone on pay you go um, pay monthly sorry for free for just thirty six pounds a month and for that thirty six pound a month you're going to get six hundred minutes two hundred and fifty text and five hundred megabytes worth of data allowance each month so in the box you don't get anything on this outside box but if we just open it up you get a nice pair of monster beats by dre headphones and that's because the HTC One S and also the One X has Beats Audio built in. And then this is the box that you're going to get the One S in. So let's just move this to one side. You get a sleeve over the box and then there is the One S itself. Nearly dropped it there. Um, much slimmer than the One X that we reviewed previously on the channel. Let's just put that to one side and see what else that we do get. You get a number of manuals, quick start guide, contact us, warranty statement and also safety and um, regulatory guide. You do get a plug which is UK plug but obviously whatever country you're in um, you would get a plug for that country and that just connects via USB. You get a USB to micro USB cord as well and you get a pair of standard HTC headphones but as you get in the Your Beats headphones from Beats by Dre you're probably never ever going to use them. So let's have a look at the device overall and tell you some of the specifications for that. So with the HTC One S it weighs just 119 grams really really light the hand like I said it is definitely much thinner and much slimmer than the HTC One X measurements wise you're talking of 130 millimeters by 65 millimeters by just 7.95 millimeters thick so really really slim device and as you can see it feels much much nicer in my hand you're going to get 16 gigabytes of storage in this device. Now that is not um, upgradable storage, so you're only going to have the 16 gigabytes. And a lot of phones are going that way. They're getting rid of the SD card. It takes a micro SIM, and to get to there, you can see there's just this tab at the front. I'll just pull that back, and then your micro SIM just pops in the top, just in case you're wondering how you actually get into it. Quick tour around the device. You get capacitive buttons at the bottom. You get your microphone pickup, you get your micro USB for charging and syncing. Over at the top you get a 3.5mm jack, you're going to get your secondary microphone pickup and then your power on and off and sleep weight button and then your volume rocking buttons on the side. On the back you're going to be getting an 8 megapixel camera that's capable of 1080p at 30 frames per second and also that LED flash and on the front you're going to get a VGA camera. So all your picture snapping capabilities are definitely covered. Now if we talk about numbers of talk time you're going to get 9 hours worth of 3G talk time in this. Um, it's running a 1.5 gigahertz dual core processor whereas the HTC One X is running that 1.5 quad core processor. You're going to get 360 standby hours on 2G and 350 hours worth of 3G standby. It's got a 4.3 inch touchscreen which is an AMOLED touchscreen and that is pretty much all of it for specifications. So what I'd like to do now is just show you a boot time test. So we'll bring my iPhone into play here as you can see and we'll boot up the clock and let's get the stopwatch rolling so if we're ready here one two three mm. 
Okay, so that took around 13 seconds, whereas the HTC One X took 7.9 seconds. Now this device is running Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich and it's pretty much exactly the same device as the HTC One X. Over the top of that ice cream sandwich you're running HTC Sense and overall I've been using it for a couple of days now and there's no lag at all just, before, just because the HTC One X has got that dual core processor, or that quad core processor sorry, and this is only running a dual core there's pretty much no difference there's no lag on the device at all and I must say this is definitely feeling a lot better in the hand so that's our quick unboxing and specification of the HTC One X please come back in a couple of weeks when we can give you a full review of how we got on with the device and we will catch you real soon in the next one